Uh, this is all going to happen over the next year or two. But there's lots of interesting stuff going on in Bitcoin uh, with El Salvador uh, saying that they're going to uh, make Bitcoin legal tender, which is very interesting. It's the first country on earth that's recognized. Liberland, of course, already says Bitcoin's is currency, I believe, or Monero or both. But uh, first sort of recognized country, El Salvador. And they also say they'll have zero capital gains tax for Bitcoin. Я думал, нам много будет, нам много лучше будет это все. И очень плохая музыка, просто очень плохая музыка. Я думал, нам много лучше это все будет. Сколько раз сюда ходил, было намного лучше. Ну и на этот раз как-то не удалось. Во-первых, народу мама музыка не очень. А что за направление? А? Что за направление? Направление? Какое направление? since it'll be a legal currency. So that's interesting. So there's a few sort of options for crypto people out there. If you live in the USSA, I've been saying for years, get out. If you're into crypto, they're gonna, they're gonna come after all you guys. Look at everyone, like Charlie Schramm, everybody. Um, Ross Ulbricht, uh, everybody, everyone's in jail. <laughs> and uh, you know, Puerto Rico's pretty good. It's got like 0% capital gains, I think, on crypto and like 2% like, like tax or something. And you, you're still considered kind of like in the U.S. and Puerto Rico, but basically you don't have to pay taxes. It's like a tax haven for Americans. And now it looks like El Salvador might turn into something like that. It is possible. And Bitcoin, as always, has something pretty cool. This El Salvador headline was embedded in the 686,604th block of Bitcoin and shall remain there until the end of time. Bitcoin will have legal val validity in El Salvador. I've already seen a lot of people talk about moving there. Um, yeah, you know, like, it looks like they're gonna be very open for business for crypto stuff. And that's one of the amazing things is if uh, like some countries go against the, the, the rest of them and open things up, they're gonna see huge economic booms, like massive. And even Forbes has already said, if President Bukele's Bitcoin proposal becomes law, El Salvador could become one of the most significant monetary centers in the world. And the president of El Salvador, he's like on Twitter all the time. He's like the Donald Trump of El Salvador. He's just always on Twitter. And here he is posting that Tron, a cryptocurrency, has uh, announced that they're moving their offices to El Salvador. So that's all very interesting. So someone posts this on the internet, someone named Stephen Cole. Any ent entity embracing Bitcoin is good for economic sovereignty. Individuals, corporations, cities, nation states. It sounds backwards, but even authoritarian states like North Korea buying Bitcoin would be a boon for freedom. Most state power comes from the ability of central banks to mani manip manipulate the money supply. Since they can't control the rules of Bitcoin, any adoption helps take that power from central banks and give it back to the holders of the money. But while it's great for Bitcoin, it's even more important for the people of El Salvador. 70% don't have access to banking infrastructure and many have had to stomach the predatory fees of the traditional remittance options like Western Union to survive. It also kicks the game theory into high gear. It's risky to be the first nation to adopt Bitcoin, but it's even riskier to be the last. This should spur more leaders to think about whether it's in the interest of their national security to be next. Yeah, that's interesting. We'll see if the, uh, the Pentagram and the Department of Offense and all those guys will see if they do some sort of a terrorist attack in El Salvador uh, to try to stop them from doing this. But we're already seeing other countries just all popping up now. So a bunch of them. So here's a uh, Brazilian politician. He, he tweeted out laser eyes, laser eyes to 100K, talking about Bitcoin. And here is a Paraguayan politician saying that, uh, well, let me see if I can translate this. I do speak decent Spanish. Uh, <laughs> our country needs to advance in a way for the new generation this moment has arrived our moment this week we're going to start with a project an important project to innovate in paraguay in front of the world el verdadero to the moon bitcoin and paypal and he's got the laser eyes so 
So we'll see what's going to happen here. Very interesting. There's so many things going on. We're basically in a whole collapse of the financial monetary system right now. There's, there's going to be things we don't expect. And that's three countries in Latin America in the last couple of days that are all saying they're going to legalize Bitcoin as legal tender. That is very interesting. And we'll see what happens. But as I've been pointing out, I'll, you know, first of all, Bitcoin can't really be used as, as cash. It's just too slow and too expensive, except for, for larger transactions. Now, some people are starting to get on Lightning Network, but that's a whole other story and it's, it's very small still. So we'll see what happens there. But the big issue with Bitcoin is everything's tracked and people are going to realize that more and more. And the more they do, the more they're going to be getting into privacy coins like Monero and Pirate Chain. Yep. Fuck Big Brother. So stay tuned for our Dollar Vigilante Summit, TDV Virtual Summit, coming up uh, June 24th and 25th. Tons of information on all this stuff, how to survive, all this stuff. And I can now basically announce that the Crypto Vigilante will be releasing its next coin pick. The last one they did was about 10 months ago at $0.05. Cents. It was Pirate Chain. It went up to $16, currently $5. For about a 30,000% gain, you can do the math on that. I think if you put in 1000 or $5,000, you would have over a million dollars and a lot of people did a lot of tcb subscribers are very happy and they're releasing their next one and they they're saying the date they're going to release it is on june 21st so that's the first day of uh summer uh they sort of picked that date i think for that reason because we're getting ready for the dark winter so you want to make as much capital as you can right now before everything gets crazy possibly this winter and uh it's another coin that could go up very similar to pirate chain uh, so if you want to subscribe to that and uh, you're crazy, if you don't, I'll put the link here. I think you can go to dollarvigilante.com and uh, slash subscribe to sign up for the Crypto Vigilante as well. I think it's an option there. If not, I'll put the uh, Crypto Vigilante, the exact link to sign up for that, which includes the Dollar Vigilante anyway. It's all included. And I would suggest to people sign up now because uh, you want to get used to how everything works. You want to get on our Telegram chat. You want to start talking with people. You want to understand how the newsletter works um, ahead of time so that you're ready uh, on June 21st to find out what this is and then you'll be a lot more prepared to get it. And yeah, it's another gonna be huge one I'm super excited about is in many ways it's just as exciting as Pirate Chain. And uh, I can't say any more, but uh, it's, it's got the exact same potential as Pirate Chain. And Pirate Chain is gonna go easily, I think, double digits very soon, next few weeks probably, uh, and uh, probably like 30, 50, as soon as it's on a major exchange, which I think is going to happen soon. Uh, and then there's all these DEXs coming out, uh, Thor chain. Uh, you, soon you'll be able to trade uh, direct, uh, decentralized, no uh, KYC, nothing uh, from pirate chain to things like Bitcoin and stuff like that. And once that happens, pirate chain is going to go into the hundreds or thousands of dollars. And this one's very similar. So if you don't want to miss out on that, sign up, dollarvigilante.com slash subscribe.